Hey everyone, this is not our usual Singapore road trip, but it is Chonanto road trip. And in this video, I will tell you the reason why. In this episode 13, we are going to visit the former Ford factory in Bukit Timah, Singapore. And we are going to see some interesting facts about this first car factory in Southeast Asia. And we are going to see the Japanese invasion of Singapore and the fall of Singapore and Singapore becoming Xionan. And we are going to see what's the dark secret inside this room. This is going to be an interesting video and I hope you will watch this fully. If you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out any future videos. And if you still haven't seen the previous videos, previous episodes, please do so. Okay, now let's go into the episode. The former Ford factory or the old Ford Motor factory is located along Upper Bukitima Road at Bukitima in Singapore. The factory was established and built for the Ford Motor Company of Malaya in October 1941 and became a Ford's first motor car and vehicle assembly and construction plant in the region of Southeast Asia. This majestic former Ford factory is now a humble museum and the entrance is free for Singaporeans and Singapore PR and for foreigners the charge is mere $3 and they don't accept cash. I just started taking some videos but I have to stop because video is prohibited but they do accept taking photos. At the entrance, you will get some brief details about the Ford operations in Singapore and some of the earlier Ford designs which was released at that time. And you will also get a glimpse of the very first brochures released by the Universal Ford cars in Singapore. But what we are going to see inside is totally unexpected and mind-boggling. In this museum, you will see some interesting facts and details about the Japanese invasion of Singapore and the Singapore war fought between the British forces and the Japanese Imperial Army and how Singapore coped up with the Japanese occupation and how it became Shonan To. You will also see some interesting old exhibits from the World War II. This must be a Japanese samurai sword and some objects belonging to the Japanese army. This is an original Japanese version of the East Asian map and you can clearly see how the Japanese Imperial Army was planning for an East Asian invasion. Looking at how detailed they had the map in Japanese only concretes the idea of how serious Japanese took the East Asian invasion. You will also get a chance to see some raw footages of the war fought between Japanese and the British forces. And some sad and real testimonials from war survivors. and some original paper cuttings headlines dated all the way back to 1938 on display are some of the old identity cards and food ration cards which are now over 80 years old the sinking of the royal british naval ships by the japanese air forces which was supposed to act as a reinforcement to the Singapore forces came as a rude shock to the British. 
and to prevent additional humiliation and to avoid civilian losses british finally surrendered to the japanese imperial army right at this boardroom of the former fort factory this is the scene of the surrender sequence between the british and the japanese right at this boardroom of the former fort factory This is the original conversation between General Lieutenant Percival from the British forces and the Japanese army. The British flag and the white flag you see at the corner of this boardroom is the original flag brought by the surrender party in 1942. On display are some heart-wrenching exchanges between the British soldiers and their separated family members. The then Japanese Prime Minister Hideki Tojo said the capture of Singapore signifies the birth of a new Asia and a turning point in world history. One of the war survivor of Japanese occupation said the surrender of the British was announced over the radio we thought everything is lost then fear of what the Japanese how they are going to deal with us Singapore now officially becomes Shonan to meaning in Japanese light of the south The Japanese went on a victory parade and there were around 75,000 to 100,000 prisoners of war from the British and Allied forces and the law and governance were amended by the Japanese and a Japanese friendly government was formed thousands of local residents who were anti-Japanese were assassinated through the Suk Ching operation The Good Citizen Guide a handbook was in circulation and this is a original copy of it. Having conquered both Malaya and Singapore, terrains and borders were altered and there were inflation everywhere. The cost of a dozen of eggs through the years suggests that During the Battle of Malaya, the Japanese appealed to the anti-colonial sentiments among British Indian Army soldiers to encourage them to give up fighting. After the British surrender, it was estimated that about 40,000 Indian prisoners of war formed the Indian National Army under the commandership of General Mohan Singh. However, General Mohan Singh, the INS commander and other officers told the soldiers to disband in late 1942 as they were disillusioned by Japan's delays in invading India and lack of support towards that goal. As a result, these officers were imprisoned by the Japanese. In July 1943, the charismatic Indian nationalist Subhas Chandra Bose arrived in Seonan which is Singapore to lead the Indian Independence League a pre-war Indian nationalist organization he helped to revive the Indian National Army his inspiring rallies at the Padang attracted men and women to join the INA and donate money and jewelry to the cause the INA soldiers including the women only Rani of Jhansi regiment underwent training in Siona In March 1944 the INA marched to Impal Burma now Myanmar with the Japanese to fight the British the British prevailed the INA did not go to war again when the Japanese ceased hostilities and Subhas Chandra Bose died in a plane crash in August 1945 the Indian National Army was dissolved 
And soon after the fall of the German Nazis in Europe, Japan was the only opponent of the World War II. And after the events of Pearl Harbor and the atomic bomb droppings in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan finally surrendered and the British forces took over Singapore from Japan. Under the British, Singapore slowly started to progress and develop. To date, Singapore has many war memorial and war cemeteries except for the Indian National Army Monument which was demolished by the British soon after their return. The Ford Motor Factory returned to the Ford Corporation following the Japanese surrender in August 1945. Normal business operations under the Ford was resumed between 1947 and 1980 and the plan continued to produce cars and vehicles and it finally shut down in June 1980. After 40 years since a car manufacturing company in Singapore ceased operation, another car manufacturer is going to set up their business in Singapore and this time is going to be Hyundai Motors which is going to set up an electric vehicle factory. I hope you enjoyed this video and you can check out more photos at my Instagram and if you like this channel feel free to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out my future videos and see you next time on a different episode bye until then